something I think uh our purpose as Christians is found in the word of God right so um I mean it's it's uh it's sad that um that a Christian hasn't uh, a Christian leader hasn't known his purpose yet sad sad I, I use the word sad as in like not like it's the end of the world but sad as in like you know it should be one of the uh basic foundational uh truths in a christian life now of course if you're asking for specific purpose you know should i uh, migrate you know <laughs> should i do teens ministry uh and all that kind of stuff then yeah you know it, it's is those things uh, need to be um uh, given guidance in a way like for example i would say to people you got to pray uh you got to find out uh what uh you're good at uh because uh god gives us gifts and i would say that where where you have a gift uh, you should be leaning towards that whenever you find god's grace stick to it uh meaning that uh you know when you're working in god's grace and when you're working in god's gift uh it makes everything much more simpler uh much more easier if you didn't have that gift you didn't have that grace you would have to work extra harder uh mm-hmm. and so uh gift and grace you know uh is uh, is a good gauge of what you should be investing your life into so anyway i would say that uh general uh purpose and calling of god is is found in his word and so uh, even if you are feeling like in that season you're, you 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 knew your purpose maybe 3 months ago now you're in transition let's just say okay uh, so let's fair enough if a leader is in transition and finding what's next uh, doesn't mean that you cannot sit down with a person and open the word of god and say uh let's let's see what the word of god says uh generally uh to every christian uh we have a purpose uh and then if they're saying yeah 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 i know my christian purpose i know i know my purpose uh, as far as uh you know being a witness for the lord um and uh you know living to please god putting god number 1 in my life uh you know um and doing what god uh calls me to do the great commission the great commandment okay very all that's in the word okay that's how we live that's that's our purpose gift grace uh what other people are saying about you you know uh people can some, sometimes people can see what you're good at more than you can see uh now it's not always that we like what we are good at <laughs> you know you are you're good at preaching you know my word every time you stand on stage you know uh you preach you know people people get saved all over again uh but you go like yeah but I don't like to preach uh, you know so that's another story altogether some people don't like their gift uh some people you know uh when they worship lead my word you know angels start coming to visit the church because they go like wow you know this is such a great gift of god and everybody else can say you know you don't like to sing you don't like to be on the worship team but my word you know when you sing the heavens uh come down uh so there's another story altogether uh, you you probably have to uh you know see whether that person is burned out or see that person whether you know that person is offended some some way and say no i'm not i refuse to use my gift because you know i i got offended by the worship team uh so there are a lot of other uh, variants uh but uh, i would say find god's grace stick to it find god's gift stick to it uh talents are a good um gauge uh fruitfulness is a good gauge you know people being blessed by your ministry um so um why should it bother that uh if you are in transition or you haven't found your specific yet that you cannot lead some you know leading a person to find their purpose is actually a oh. skill uh so i think you can use your skill even though your spirit doesn't fi- don't forget this uh, guys and this will answer a lot of other questions uh we christians weren't taught to live by feelings we were taught to live by faith faith does the right thing even if you don't feel it did you get that 
Yeah. Faith yeah. does always does the right thing even yeah. if you don't feel it. Now, doesn't mean just because you don't feel the anointing uh, that you cannot pray for the sick, you know? Yeah. Please never, never, never uh, confuse that. Because God already said, go into all the world, preach the gospel, make disciples. And then he says, heal the sick, cast out demons. So you never need to feel it. Right? You never need to, oh, I cannot feel it. And therefore, I'm not, I'm not going to pray for people. Don't ever talk like that. Because uh, God, the, the, the feeling is for the flesh, you know. Uh, and uh, feeling, is, is, feeling follows faith. And so many times you've got the faith first, then the feeling follows. Uh, and so, um, just because you feel like you're not, uh, you're not, you're not that, I don't know, uh, not that worthy, maybe to lead someone into his purpose just because you haven't found yours. Well, uh, think again, because, uh, if, if you can help somebody to find their purpose with using God's word and using some of the things we are telling you, uh, you know, some of these guides, then you know it, do it, uh, no matter how you feel. And I hope that answers your question. Um, uh, do your job, do, do, your, do your calling. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I tell you, uh, there are some Sundays I don't feel like preaching. No? <laughs> Can I be serious with you and honest? Uh, but that's my call. That's my gift. That's um, what God has um, privileged me to do, I, I should say. You know? I'm honored to do it. Can I ask you something? 